first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Kakudash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well, who teach us the truth through the Spirit and power, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh. A peace and salutation to the Akims and Maudu, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. Maybe brothers them from Trinidad come, you know, coming to push the wood, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh. You know, and this lesson we want to do, you know, you can't love everything. You know, because to love everything, you know, that is a false balance. You know, and just say, you know, a false balance is abomination. Right? You know, there's a time and a season for everything. You know, and it's balanced within the law too. Right? Because the Lord, you know, we see in get guy, you know, in Isaiah 45. The book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Yeah, so the Lord dies, dies balance, you know, eh? you know, because you can't have light, light alone, mm -hmm. you know, eh? when the day go finish. You know, so it has to have night too, right? And he create good and he create evil, you know, and, and Job, was, Job, Job was an example of that too, you know, because, you know, eh? when the Lord sent, when Satan, you know, going to tempt him, we did tell you wife. He said, shall we only receive good of the Lord? Shall we not receive evil too? So it's balance. Right? So a lot of people saying, you know, the Bosai, you know, he don't kill, you know, that is, that is of Satan and, and, mm -hmm. and all that. No, the scripture, the scripture say, he kill and make alive. You know? Look at the, um, please, yeah, he's three verse. One. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. Okay. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be, po time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep. And a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sue, so a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate. Time of war and a time of peace. And, right, so you see a time to love and a time to hate. Mm -hmm. You know, which is true balance. Right? Because you can see in Proverbs 11, verse 1. Read Proverbs 11, verse 1. What do you say? Book of Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Mm -hmm. So a false balance is of the Lord. So when they say in a way, in a way, God love everybody. You know, mm. that is a false balance. The Lord explained it here. Right? A false balance is abomination unto the Lord. Because the Lord just didn't create male alone. Mm. He created female. Right? Balance, that is balance. Right? He created good and evil, which is balance also. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't know the evil if you don't know the good and you can't know good if you don't know the evil that is balance right so you say proverbs um proverbs 20 verse 23 he said diverse ways are an abomination unto the lord and a false balance is not good mm -hmm. and they will be in, in, in these churches the lord love everybody all nations Mm -hmm. oh. That is a false balance that ain't good. Or you will love the man who oppressing you. Or you will love the man who killing you. The man who doing all sorts of wickedness to your 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 your, your nation. Mm -hmm. Or you can love that man. You know, a precept here for the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 18 it say Um No 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 Slack yeah Right, the book of Amos chapter 3, 
verse 6. It say, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord hath not done it? So it's showing you, evil being done in a city is the Lord's doing. So for this whole pandemic that take place, a lot of people was, you know, saying it, I see it, and Satan, now to show they really do what you understand, it was really Satan, you understand? It was really Satan plan out that pandemic fall, yeah. But they're thinking about pitchfork with horn Satan, you understand? But really and truly it was the Mosai who is in control of all things. The, yeah, the, yeah, the evil that was done in the city, you understand? Where whatever plagues that already came to pass and are going to come to pass is the Lord's doing. And the can love everything. You understand? The Mosai does not love everything. Because if I love to do good and I love to do evil, I will make myself a fool. I will deceive my own self. Because the things that I will have to do to do good will be contrary to the things that I will have to do if I want to do evil. You understand? Vice versa. If I strive to be wicked, if I strive to be righteous in the eyes of the Lord, I can't go and do things that are unrighteous. They, they, they do add up. Right? And everything has order. Lightness. Light can say it want to be dark. And dark can say it want to be light. Right? Neither can light can say it want to rule over the night. And, and darkness can say it want to rule over the day. The most I create everything and put it in its own place. You understand? You have light. You have darkness. You have day. You have night. You have good. You have evil. You can say you want to be good. And you want to be evil because you talk about that in Romans. Um, fuck a gate. It's Romans 2. Three. Right, so okay. the book of Romans chapter 3 verse chapter 3 it says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? God forbid. Yea, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of Yahweh, what shall we say? Is Yahweh unrighteous who take it vengeance? Say Yahweh forbid. For then how shall Yahweh judge the world? So basically what these men, they was questioning them and, and basically telling them, well, hey, and we showing the Mosai's power by being on righteousness. It's like we showing he balance. We be in the darkness, showing how true his, his light is. But it's not so. Because the Mosai didn't command them to do that. The Lord didn't command you to be wicked to show he light. He command you to be righteous. So you can't go about and tell yourself, well, hey, I can be as wicked as I could be, and I me really serving the Lord. The, the work so it have a balance of everything. And man was fair how one keep his, his commandments, that he holds some of the matter. So man was made to serve the Lord. You understand? So that everything, it had a balance. It always had two sides to a, to, to a story, right? You can't strive to be good and wicked at the same time. It wouldn't work out. That's in um, Amos 5, mm -hmm. Amos 5, verse 15. Look at Amos chapter 5, verse 15. It say, Hate the evil and love the good, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Yeah, so the Lord say, Hate mm -hmm. the evil and love the good. <laughs> All right? So you can't love everything, then you say then you love evil. Mm -hmm. You know, if you love <laughs> everything, then you're supposed to love the evil too then. You know <laughs> it, not so. That is, a, that is, that is not balance. Right? You, hate, you love the good and hate the evil. Yeah, I love There's a season world. for everything. Mm -hmm. Right? And the next one again, um, Proverbs 8.13. Proverbs 8, the book of Proverbs chapter 8 verse... 13 and say the fear of the Lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the fraud mouth do I hate yeah. 
the Haiti, mm. the Haiti evil, you know. You know, a Christian, you know, he tell me that, you know, God love, you know, God love the, the sin, sinner, but, <laughs> you know, he, he hate the, the sin. sin. You know, but the scriptures ain't say so. Yeah. Now, you know, wisdom of Solomon. You hear wisdom of Solomon. 14 verse 9. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14 and verse 9. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto Yahweh. Yeah, for the most I say for the ungodly, which is the man, mm -hmm. and his ungodliness, <laughs> which is the sin, are both alike hateful unto the Heavenly Father. The scripture says the Lord hate all because workers of iniquity. Right? So a lot of them say, you know, the most I know is of love. He's of He's not of hate. Mm -hmm. That he don't hate the white man, he loves the white man. No, that, that, is, that is a false balance. Right? The most I hate Amalek. Mm -hmm. You have an indignation forever with, with these people. Right? You could get um, Romans 9. You know how? Yeah. Romans 9. Get to the point I read. Get to the point. Where is the point? Yeah, the book of Romans chapter 9, I'll start at 12. It says, It was said unto her, The elder shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Yeah, so the most I say, Jacob he loved, and Esau he hated. But I thought the mm. Lord do hate. <laughs> right? He told you, I thought the Lord do hate. You bring a, I go bring out a precept here. Mm. Um, book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 22, right? You know, emphasize any point on you can love two things that contrary to each other. You know, Matthew 6 verse 22, it said the light of the body is the eye. So that light is referring to wisdom, right? And the wisdom of the body is the eye, right? Referring to your mind's eye. It say, if therefore thine eye be single... Thy whole body shall be full of light. So if your eye is single, if you're in pursuit of one goal, righteousness, your body will be full of light. You'll be full of wisdom. It says, but if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. So if the, if the, the, your mind, right? If your mind, if you just constantly pursuing wickedness, your whole body will be full of darkness. It says, if therefore the light, the wisdom that is in thee, be darkness, how great is that darkness? So how great, um, is the wickedness within your mind. Verse 24 say, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. So it's impossible to serve the Mosai and be of the world. You understand? Because if if you striving to seek mercy from the Mosai, you want to give up your, the next master. You understand? And some of you not willing to do that. You understand? That's why you're known as hypocrites in the scriptures because you want to you wanna be with the Lord and but at the same time, you want to let go of the world. So you think that, you know, you'll do enough. You can hold on to the Lord and hold on to the world and you'll keep going so, but that will just lead, result in your death. You understand? Because the scriptures say what? Love the Lord with all thy heart and soul and might. You all tell how about Hashem, you wish I. You understand? Not peace. The Lord have peace in it. Because you don't want peace at the Lord's salvation. You don't want half of your body to receive salvation. You want salvation. For you and your household, you want to be saved. And if you want that from the Lord, give, you want to give something to You want to give Him your all. You can't gain peace and hold on to remnants of the world. You want to kill that old man and pursue your Abashim Yahushai wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to preach that in um, Psalms, Psalms 139, 21. Psalms chapter 139, verse 21. It says, Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am, I, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Yes, <laughs> Scripture say you know for the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike. You know, he full on to Abashem Yosha, you know, he, you know, so 
David saying here, you know, he, he hate them that hate the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right? So by you doing something contrary to the Lord, because the Lord set the laws, statutes, and you know, the commandments, you know, it will govern this place, you know, and he's also saying otherwise to do your own thing. Then he hate the most high. Mm -hmm. You know, he hate the most high. So David explaining, you know, he hate them that hate the Heavenly Father because hey, them don't fear. The Heavenly Father, them hate the Heavenly Father and his people. Right? You know, they teach me, you know, it's you know, so they teach in church, you know, hey, um, God said to love your enemies. Mm -hmm. I wasn't talking about these nations. I wasn't talking about them. Because you feel them love me? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> them in love with them hate me with a perfect hatred. Right? Because them know that is, that, is, that is balance. Them know that is balance. They can't love everything. But they teach you that you must love everything. Mm -hmm. Can right? I remember to Esau? Esau kingdom is about Esau kingdom is about no order. So if you if you cause everybody to worship a God that is all love, you could do whatever you want. Because if you is all love and you can love me no matter what, I could do whatever I desire. Uh, yeah, you understand? And that's why they say no way that you know he himself and the Lord had to apologize for yeah. destroying Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> because if two people love each other. You know, that is love, that mm -hmm. is still in time to the kingdom. No, the Lord set an order, he set the laws. That is wrong. A man not supposed to be with a man. So mm -hmm. how you can see that, you know, the Lord had to accept them. You know, because they love each other. And that is love. Whether who, whether male or female. And that is the scripture, whether they get it. Whether they get them bamboozled. Mm -hmm. Whether they whether male or female. You know, they are all accepted in, in, yeah. in the Mashiach. So uh, with them basically saying, you know, whether man and man or woman and woman, it could be accepted. But they understand. Mm -hmm. You know? To be another quick precept to, um, to back up that. That's more thing too. That's more in which? Same Psalm 139. Oh, nah, right, bring out your precept. Galatians chapter 2 verse 16. Right, yeah, the Galatians chapter 2 verse 16, it said, Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahushai HaMashiach, even we have believed in Yahushai, that we might be justified by the faith of HaMashiach, and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. So these are scripture that they will read and say, Well, you see, we know under the law, we under faith. Now, they don't have any understanding of what faith is. In the Sunday scripture, show you faith with work, without works is dead. And faith is the substance of things hoped for. Substance. So faith is works. You understand? But if, if you have all works and no faith, it's like you're doing it for nothing. Same way if you have all faith and no works, you make, you're, that you're deceiving yourself. You understand? Now the scripture says, mm -hmm. Thou that teaches another, teaches right. it is not thyself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so you have to our feet and yeah. works. It goes hand in hand. Right. So verse 17 says, say, But if, while we seek to be justified by Hamashiach, we ourselves also are found sinners, is therefore Hamashiach the minister of sin? Yahweh forbid. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. So it come like, or let's say, Yahweh shall come and die for we sins, for we too sin. You understand? Like, it don't make no sense. If he come to kill, eradicate sin, why would you continue to sin willfully? Right? And he said that. He said, well, if I build again the thing which I destroyed, I destroy sin to set up a, tab a tabernacle of sin. That's why Romans 6 say, how are we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Because you're not supposed to go and sin willfully. Yahweh was set up so that when you do fall short, you have a, they had a lamb without blemish. You had a sacrificial lamb. Just like in the, in, in the ancient. Right? When you sin and you transgress, where you, what do you used to do? They used to sacrifice animals. But what did the Lord tell them? He would no longer take out the sacrifices. Because why? They, they, they sinning. And they saying, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice this real quick. And I will go and put on a sin. You understand? And that's what they do. So the Lord said, you would not accept that sacrifice no more. And that will only believe you how wish I is. You understand that all I could continue to sin and hey, yeah, I wish I did. So I could just con continue to sin it out. 
But the Lord not going and accept that. Because yeah, the scripture says, um, so not because sin abounds, shall mm -hmm. they continue yeah. to sin. And because grace abounds, they're yeah. going to continue to sin. Like, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Psalms 83. Look at Psalms chapter 83, verse 2 it says, for Because we're reading mm -hmm. Psalms 1 to the 9, 21, where David was saying, He hate them that hate the Lord. Right? And he, and he hate them with a perfect hatred, calling them his enemies. You know, it's a show that the Lord have enemies. You know, and the Lord mm -hmm. name out the enemies. Who are his <laughs> enemies? You know, he, he name it out plain. You know? There is no parable here. Mm -hmm. It's plain to show you, like, uh, it's former people here yeah. you know and nations are people the hate we good psalms 83 and 2 it's if a low thine enemies make a tumult nah thy friends <laughs> <laughs> thy enemies thy, thy, thy make a tumult can oh, didn't say that good thine enemies make a tumult and they that hate thee had lifted up the head yeah they that hate thee the, the haters the hate the trainer the every mm -hmm. father the hate the most high therefore the hate you himself you also when you were shy was it yeah, you were shy, say what? Do it, they hate me before they hate all you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Say they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, how to cut you off from being a nation? By dealing with your face. Mm -hmm. You know, it take away our identity, you know. Them give all you. Yeah? Them take away all your identity and claiming all your identity <laughs> because the Jews them today in Israel, the Khazars and them, them say they is the Jews. You know, and they tell all you that, you know, hey, you have a land, all you born in, all you go by that. Mm. Land. They give us their names too, of violence, they beat it out of us. You know, they oppress a man and his, inherit his heritage. You know, that the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance because you ask anybody today, where is the nationality, they're going to say, you know, hey, with a form, mm -hmm. you have a land born in. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna class themselves to say, you know, I's a Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's how you know a, a so called white man did. So there's not no friend that do it this. Mm -hmm. There's not no partner, no brethren. There's an enemy. Right? Good. See, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, they have said. Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. Yeah. The tabernacles of Edom, and the Ishmaelites of Moab, and the Hagarines, Jebal, and Ammon, and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabit inhabitants of Tyre, Asher is also joined with them. They have holpen the children of Lot, Selah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin at the brook of Kison, mm -hmm. which perished at Endor, they became as dung for the youth. Mm -hmm. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeb, yea, all their princes as Zeba and as Zalmana, who said, Let us take to ourselves the houses of Yahweh in possession. Yeah, that, was, that is a plan with the mm -hmm. sea, you know. <laughs> Let me take the house of the Lord into possession, you know. So they what to do. So they not a friend. You know, so the most I hate, you know, hey, the enemies. So we name all the enemies who oppress we. You know who did who did us wrong. You know, and then if you look at the generation at all, all these nations whoever did Israel wrong, they get dealt with. Scripture said there is nothing new under the sun, so the same thing what they're doing now. What do you feel? The Lord ain't gonna do nothing that you're gonna watch the people suffer. You do not want your people being oppressed by the enemy and they do nothing. No, you're gonna deal with them. The time coming. But the Lord gonna deal with all these nations. Can. Right? Yeah, and that balance in itself too. Mm. Because you can't expect to just deal with Israel and go all the way scotch free. You understand? Because I always so thinking right now that he, he do whatever he had to do and that is a day. He can establish his kingdom forever and no judgment can take place. Yeah, what we get what we get through slavery is a just punishment. Yeah. That is a that is balance. 
Je pense que c'est un man sin by the sea, il shall be punished. That is balance. Il y a des um, groupes yeah. um, Azariah. Prayer of Azariah, verse 4. For thou art righteous in all the things that thou hast done to us. Yea, true are all thy works, thy ways are right, and all thy judgments truth. Yes, yeah, so whatever thou do unto we is righteous. The Mosa is not wicked. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. In all the things that thou hast brought upon us, and upon the holy city of our fathers, even Jerusalem, thou hast executed true judgment. For according to truth and judgment, it is thou bring all these things upon us because of our sins. And because of our sin, we Lord bring that evil upon mm -hmm. we. Right? Go ahead. For we have sinned and committed iniquity, departing from thee. In all things have we trespassed, and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. Wherefore, all that thou hast brought upon us, and everything that thou hast done unto us, thou hast done in true judgment. And thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of Yahweh, unto an unjust king, and the most wicked in all the world. Yes, and the Lord said, deliver me into the hands of lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of God. You know, with them do follow the, the, the law, them do their own thing, they change the laws, signs, time, season, mm -hmm. everything. And the most wicked in all the world. That's why when you ask any of these nations, who is the most wicked man? The most wicked nation. They the Caucasian. Caucasian man. They the man who, who oppress all nations. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is where we, where we face here. That is a righteous judge. That is true judgment. <laughs> that is true mm -hmm. judgment. Hmm. Where we deserve. Yeah, we deserve. A just punishment. Deserve it because... That would the Lord that would the Lord tell them. Then you do turn me twenty eight. You understand? He, he give them the blessings and he give them the curses. Mm -hmm. This is where you do to inherit eternal life. And this is where you do to inherit slavery and death. And the people chose death. They choose to, to go against the Lord and he execute his, his judgment. Mm -hmm. And it's not that the Lord trick them. That is just what takes place. He tell them, hey, either you do this or you do this. You understand? And they, they choose they choose the um they choose death. And so he, he he gave them what he promised them. Now if I and I to show you, the Lord really is of that balance because he, he carry out that judgment. You understand? That to show you the Lord, you see he promises. The Lord bound to he promises because he, he a righteous power. So if the Lord tell you do this, that why scripture say, was there any that put a trust in the most and was confounded? No. So if you, if the Lord tell you do this thing, inherit eternal life, the Lord will give you eternal life. But if He tell you hey, go against me, you know, go against my ways, you will receive death and destruction. Then they, that is exactly what they receive. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, you really had a fear of Abba Shem Yashai, you know, just you know, he's not a respectable person, mm -hmm. right? Let's bring this. Let's present me. Yeah, I'm Deuteronomy twenty-eight sixty-three. Okay. Hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 63 And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good and to multiply you So the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught And you shall be plucked from off the land where thou goest to possess it And there is righteous judgment, there is mm. balance, you know So the Lord hate all workers of iniquity, even of his own people. Right? Because they two thirds of Israel gonna die. Mm -hmm. You know, we did we did in when we leave Egypt. When they were doing all sorts of reveling. Kill them out. The Lord slew them. Mm -hmm. So the Levites them, you know, they didn't business if it was the mother, the yeah. father, the brother, mm -hmm. the sons, the daughters. They execute judgment. Balance. But they hate the workers of iniquity, they hate mm -hmm. the wicked ones. When you come and they say that the Mosai do he, the Mosai is of love, then that is a false balance. Then you saying that the Lord love will love you if you're doing evil. <laughs> that basically come like you saying that. No matter if I do evil, the Lord will still love me. Come like you saying the Lord evil too. Come like you saying the Lord evil. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. 
Yeah. Let me just ask you something. Sarah, 2724. Ibuka. Ibuka Sarah chapter 27 verse 24. I have hated many things but nothing like him. For the Lord will hate him. Yes, the Lord will hate many things. So it's true that you know mm -hmm. the Lord will love everything. <laughs> it are things the Lord hate, and it are things the Lord love, which is balance. So you can't love everything, mm -hmm. right? So the Lord said, "I have hated many things, but nothing like him. <laughs> For the Lord will hate him. <laughs> nothing <laughs> like he saw, you know. He terrible, you know. A, a man of fierce countenance <laughs> who showed no regard to the old, neither to the young." You know? This man do all sorts of wickedness in to the to the to Jake's in slavery. Mm -hmm. You know he cut you know the you know the, the child for me mother to see who going and die first. Mm -hmm. Feeding your babies to, 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 to alligators to crocodiles to use them as bait. Bug breaking. Bug breaking, having having them do sex with a mother and all these weak sorts of wickedness. How you could love how that, that is just common sense. How you could love a man mm -hmm. like that boy. So land, the ocean. And they're so yeah, they're so prideful. When they watch roots and thing, they just think if it's as if it's Jake's make them movies is he saw in it. He saw making a movie and showing all the way they what happen and all the care do nothing right now. I show you all the way I do all and all the still care do nothing about it. Cause Jake's will watch a movie and get mad or whatever and thing, but five minutes after they back to normal. And that he saw pride he showing all the way I do and all the care do him nothing. Even to this day, hey, them know, and to prove that they know, they had to create our Black Lives Matter movement. He sort of be killing Jakes in the streets to this day. Yet nobody are doing, nobody can do the, the so-called white man nothing. You understand? And, and he sort does not care. You understand? That's why I say they're not in trouble like other men. They boast themselves um, concerning oppression. He sort does not care what Jakes going through. Doesn't care, um... Have any sort of compassion towards Jake's and what they're going through right now? You can say who possess a slay them and hold themselves yeah. not guilty. Hmm. You know, that scripture in um, Revelation, he, I think it's Revelation, um, he said he repented not of his theft. Um, you know, of his crime. 29. If it's Revelation 9, it's on. 9 and 21. 10. Um, yeah, in Revelation chapter 9, verse 20, it says, and the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Yeah, they just showed <laughs> a, 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 a most proud. <laughs> you know, he repent, he repent him. You know, all these things you are saying, you know, in their justice system, you know, eh, they could get away screwed free in that in their mm -hmm. justice system. That why scripture say who possess us with them and the whole self not guilty. Mm -hmm. You know, they talk about, you know, eh, what happened to them, you know, with the with their Holocaust. You know? But one why to the Atlantic slave shit. All they mm -hmm. forget about that then. Because we did it. Yeah? All they forget <laughs> about all them things all they do to we. But all they remember what Hitler do to all them. I was it? I was either might kill and either might scan. I was I was so <laughs> killing you so. Yes, and you remember you you remember that, but yet you do what we can remember. We own. Yeah. Russia and Ukraine is either might kill. Yeah, and the, the scriptures talk about that in Revelation. I think it's six and four. It's a Revelation chapter 6 verse 4 it says and there went out another horse that was red red that is referring to Esau and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the youth and that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword and that sword that Esau blessing so they just be killing each other mm -hmm. so why would anybody feel pity on Olive or they're just killing each other Hitler is a Edomite right them fake Jews was Edomites the Ukrainians and the Russians is Edomites and if you go back in history, them that was one nation. Mm -hmm. Them just killing each other. 
So all they can compare no Holocaust to the transatlantic slave trade and to the massacre will take place with the natives. Because that was all your nation killing Jakes, knowing who all they killing, knowing who all they put in slavery. You understand? So it, it have no it have no similarities there. Eh? You know, and they, 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 them know that. You know, and they, with that, Obe says some was edifying, giving all praises and all glory unto the Mosai. Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Kakodash. The but honestly, the apostles and the elders that do rule by that great millstone. Peace and salutation to the sincere brethren, pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. So shalom to the humble and sincere sister out there as well. Shalom.